guys, so my name is Grace Kisley. I'm a senior at Cranford High School and today I'll be discussing synthetic biology's role in counteracting the environmental degradation caused by the food industry. And I believe this topic is important because it has the potential to resolve the increasingly imperative concerns with regard to the environment and food production. And I believe that by educating people on this topic, it can help people become more environmentally conscious about where their food comes from and about what they eat, as well as destigmatize the negative opinions about genetic modification and consuming genetically modified organisms. So first, it is important to examine the problems caused by the agricultural sector. Um, according to the World Bank Group, globally 70% of fresh water is used for agriculture and by 2050, feeding a planet of 9 billion people will require an estimated 50% increase in agricultural production and a 15% increase in water withdrawals. Some other examples of environmental issues include tremendously polluted soils and waterways, diverting water for irrigation that causes entire watersheds to dry up, the depletion of non-renewable resources such as fossil fuels used to harvest and transport and distribute food products, which also results in immense emissions of greenhouse gases, and lastly, habitat fragmentation and desertification. Going back to the statistic that there will need to be an estimated 50% increase in agricultural production, we cannot simply just create more farms without destroying habitats and decreasing biodiversity, and the land that is taken over to farm has become heavily degraded to the point that it lacks nutrients to sustain life. As the humankind demand for food, fuel, land, and water has surpassed the Earth's amount of land that can sustain this demand and replenish these resources, Biotechnological advancements serve to negate this depletion and restore the land. Synthetic biology can mitigate these problems I listed and deliver more nutritious crops that thrive with less water, land, energy, and fewer chemical inputs in more variable climates and on lands that otherwise would not support intensive farming. So GMO crops are created with pesticide and herbicide traits so that farmers do not have to apply the chemicals themselves to the crops, theoretically reducing the environmental and human health hazards caused by the chemicals. And with support of GMOs, it will pave the way to advancing the technology to create synthetically modified organisms that will benefit the environment further. So for example, synthetic biologists at MIT have inserted a cluster of nitrogen fixing genes into a bacterium they say that once they discover the process to implement the same genes into crops, the plants would have the capacity to self-fertilize, and thus a reduction of nitrogen fertilizer usage would promote more efficient farming without the extra energy and expense, as well as limit the pollution of water sources and the release of the greenhouse gas nitrous oxide. Additionally, by modifying the genes of yeast cells to make them produce milk, or substance that looks and tastes exactly like milk. The process becomes 10 to 100 times more energy efficient as the cow loses more than 99% of the energy when converting grass energy into milk. Uh, furthermore, synthetic biology possesses the potential to reduce the negative impacts of the meat industry. What I have here is an impossible burger, which looks and tastes exactly like beef but is created through the manipulation of yeast cells. And the environmentally degrading effects of the cattle ranches, such as deforestation to create land, desertification, and runoff of manure, could potentially be drastically reduced through manipulating the genetic makeup of yeast cells and manipulating tissues. Lastly, I have that researchers in the Netherlands are attempting to engineer a banana resistant to the fungus known as the Panama disease, which has the potential to wipe out the Cavendish strand of banana, which accounts for 99% of bananas in the world. Yet advances in technology pose as solution to preventing extinction. The banana example illustrates how synthetic biology could help prevent issues arising with regard to monocultures, as well as preserve food supplies that are at risk.
that concludes my presentation so the next time you're at the supermarket I hope you remember what I've told you and recall that you possess the purchasing power to impact and preserve the environment.